Hello everyone, um, welcome to my short course on how to create an Active Directory based lab uh, in a fully automated way uh, using Hyper-V. So I will be using a, a tool called Automated Labs uh, for uh, this uh, course. So uh, why do you need um, to create an um, automated uh, labs uh, for your own purposes? So just to give you an example on um, uh, in my particular scenario, so uh, I was um, uh, doing a pen testing and a uh, demonstration for a lot of uh, my students and clients. Um, so oftentimes, I'll need to set up um, like an Active Directory, a, a bunch of VMs, and I need to install a specific version of a software in one of the VMs. And I also need to install like hacking tools in one of the missions. Um, so that was um, time consuming, right? I mean, so you need to, uh, all this uh, takes a lot of time. Uh, and then uh, when I do a, a specific use case, and if I want to jump to another use case, and then I need to uh, redo everything from scratch, or I need to start uninstalling software uh, to set the scenario. So in uh, cases like that, uh, when you have a, a tool like this, which can recreate the whole lab environment uh, without you getting involved, uh, is uh, kind of a time saver. And uh, you can also uh, use this uh, kind of um, labs for uh, testing a lot of different software components, software versions, uh, and how it works on different uh, operating systems. Um, so uh, this is, I've been using this tool for um, like the last uh, three to four years, and uh, it, it is, uh, it's a, it's, it's a, I mean, it's a God-given tool for, um, for something, what I do for my students. And I'm sure uh, you will see the value in uh, what this tool can uh, give you, and I just wanted to share my knowledge. Uh, so let's see uh, what uh, we'll be covering in, in this uh, uh, course. Um, so if uh, you don't know who I am, my name is Raj Ganesh Pandurankan and uh, I'm a security solutions architect with uh, 20 plus um, uh, years of experience in uh, IT security. Uh, so I also train uh, from time to time and uh, I also have these uh, various certifications uh, for uh, quite a while now. So you will be creating a lab, which uh, you see uh, in this uh, uh, PowerPoint slide. So you'll be creating a lab uh, similar to that uh, without even touching um, uh, anything um, other than the scripts. Um, you will uh, create everything uh, in whatever you see in the screen uh, in a fully automated fashion. So the agenda for uh, this lab will be, so let me jump here. So again, um, we'll be using a, a tool called Automated Labs. And um, so we'll be using um, Windows 10 as a host operating system. And uh, once we install the uh, Windows 10, uh, we'll be installing Hyper-V, uh, which is a feature which you can enable on Windows 10. Uh, and then uh, we'll be installing a tool, uh, Automated Labs. And then uh, we will also download uh, Windows uh, 2016 and Windows 2019 uh, to just uh, to give uh, two different flavors of operating systems from Microsoft website. Um, we will start with uh, creating simple uh, VMs uh, which, uh, which are uh, in, your, in your environment with access to internet. And, and then now uh, we will uh, step it up a notch and uh, we will create a uh, complex labs. Uh, we will create like uh, that has like um, uh, uh, like Active Directory with uh, DNS support. We will create a router uh, which gives access to the internet. And uh, we'll also create a bunch of VMs uh, for uh, various purposes. And uh, once we uh, complete that, uh, we'll do some small automated activities like uh, creating folders, uh, copying files from a host machine to your VMs. And uh, we'll also uh, perform um, very simple activities. Um, so one uh, key piece of uh, information or um, uh, feature I will demonstrate is uh, Chocolatey. Uh, so if you're not uh, familiar with what uh, Chocolatey is, uh, it is a command line tool uh, which can be used for um, uh, installing a lot of um, software tools, uh, just like you do with Linux, uh, in a in a command from a command line. So basically, you, they have like uh, uh, thousands and thousands of software, like 7-Zip, Firefox, Chrome, uh, Wireshark. I mean, you name it, uh, they have it in their repository. Uh, so I'm also showing you how to install that uh, using automated fashion. And finally, uh, we will uh, use uh, and install Sysmon, uh, which is like a monitoring tool. Uh, just to uh, give you like what uh, can be achieved using this tool and uh, there's a lot of things uh, uh, which uh, which uh, if you never see this tool uh, you're going to be um, uh, in for a treat um, you're going to be uh, amazed and how easy this is to set the, uh, everything up and um, i mean i want you to take my word for it uh, once you start using this um, uh, tool uh, you will never go back in uh, doing uh, setting up your lab in a manual fashion 
Um, and one cool thing is, um, if I'm showing this in Hyper-V, the same set of commands uh, will also work in Azure uh, for setting up uh, VMs in the cloud environment. So uh, without further ado, I mean, let's um, jump on to uh, our, um, our training and we'll start uh, with the installation of Hyper-V.